All right, guys and girls, this is a really important bit of information for any motor vehicle that's fuel injected. There's a general, that's in general, in general, you know, in general. Don't worry about that silly thing in the bottom right hand corner, you know. If you know what it is, yeah, have a giggle. And if you don't, I'm just going to check the oil. Oh, I can't get in there. Oh, I'm going to slice my hands open on these clamps. Yeah, anyway, that's not what this is about, guys. This is one item. I'm going to call it King of Senses, this video, maybe King of Senses. This item, it's very important that it's clean and working right. It's the MAF sensor, M-A-F, MAF sensor. Nothing to do with a MAP filter, right? MAF sensor, we've got other videos on the MAP filter, check those out. We've already got this MAF sensor out to make the video shorter because some people have mentioned they're really busy and they haven't got time to watch videos, so we're trying to speed things up a little bit. This is the map sensor here, right? Map sensor, map normally sits in the box like that. And the plug goes on here. And you've got a couple of sensors here. There's one there, which you can see, right? And one, I've demonstrated this in other videos. It's it's not in there, but look, let's have a look and see if we can see. Let's have a look. So you see those little diodes in there? See those little hot wires, what do you call it? You know what I mean? You can see them down in there, inside there, two little wires. Anyway, that's what you're cleaning as well, right? So you've got to use I use the CRC brand, uh, I'll show you, that'll be the easiest way, okay, so, and I'm going to reinstall it, so that'll cover removing and reinstalling, this is what we use, that's the brand we like, it's a rip off, yes, and it's probably just like any other electrical components cleaner, anyone that knows more about it than me, in the comments, let's have a look, what's the, um, um, oh, proven to gain horsepower, yeah, and it's true. Um, pro, uh, what's in there? We want to have a look. You, you can press pause. You can find it somewhere. What's in there? And it's going to be probably the same stuff as that. You can buy a three or four dollar can of um, circuit board cleaner type thing. So to take it out, there's two screws and a plug. And once you've got it out, you give that a clean. We clean out the hole. This is what we do. We clean out the hole like that with a rag. And then I'm going to get the molly coat, which you can purchase with any one of our parts kits, whether it's the injectors big front engine kit or the uh, you get it with whatever you want really look either one of those two is ideal ideally one of those two the injector kit, the big front engine kit you can get it with a suction control just get a tiny little bit like that on your finger because I don't want to make a mess on the math sensor but I don't mind making a bit of a mess around here okay so I'm gonna put a little bit around there wipe the SF excess off the finger now there's an O-ring on here that you've got to be careful. This is why we do this and we're showing this, so you don't pinch or damage that O-ring there. And if you go to lube it up here, you might just make mess, and it's better to put it on the box end, right? We're, we're, we are sourcing these O-rings because the old one is damaged. And so if you've got a damaged O-ring here, and you only if you... I'm not selling them separately. They're like going to be a couple of bucks. They're going to be free with the injector kit if yours is damaged, okay? Not for everybody, it's not a standard thing, but if you say, oh, I was cleaning my uh, MAF sensor there, um, so I'll just have the plug out of the way. Look, it just pops in position like that. And give me one sec. Right, so that just pops in position like that, and it'll probably just keep popping out. See how it does that? So be aware of that. Grab yourself one of your little screws that came out the hole and you'll see when you go to your vehicle. And, you know, same, same, different, same. Carefully place it in there and don't let this go. Or that for that matter, because if you bump up the screw, you might lose it, right? So you just get that line up in the hole and just very gently get that started. It's just a plastic thread, okay? So it's literally just do it really... It's not going to come loose, it's plastic, all right? I'm going to get that one in. It's just, just in. I can let it go now. It's enough to retain it. Um, then the other one, magnetic screwdriver comes in handy. This is not my normal screwdriver that I use for this. I don't know why I picked this one out, but... Right, now that's all the way in. I'm literally just going to go... Like, I'm, you know, from when it makes contact, I'm literally just going to go... Like, I'm just... You know, just... It's, it's not tight, guys. You don't over-tighten it, I'll tell you why because you're going to pull the plastic out. The amount of times I've taken those out, right, and there's all plastic in the threads, and then you go to put it back, and you just got nothing. So what I do then, if I have that problem, I'll drop some, uh, like, uh, uh, what do you call it? Araldite, whatever, you know, two-pack sort of glue, or anything you've got to fill the hole. Now, it doesn't have to be perfectly filled. Anything in the hole will make it a bit tighter. And then 
I'll just put the screw into that or a small drill bit once it's set and gone hard and just a very small hole, you know, make two millimeter maybe, and then put the screws into that. So that's secured. And then you just literally clip this back on and make sure you hear the click so you know the plug's on. And it's as simple as that, guys. I'll give you a little bit more info, right? Because five minutes, see, not bad. Now, if I had taken it out in the video, it would have been a 10 minute video, which is what we're aiming for. So I've been a bit quick. So what does this do? All the air comes in through your air box and it obviously matters how clean your air filter is so the air can flow and this measures how much air goes through there. So it's a key component in how the engine's going to run and of course there's your wires, one, two, three, four, five wires for anyone that wants to know. Back, long story short, back to the computer and tells the computer what's going on here. If this is wrong, then what happens further down the road is going to be wrong as well, like how much fuel goes in and for how long, that sort of thing. It's got a lot to do with fueling. And as you know, with the diesel engine, it's not like you've got a fuel system and an ignition system. It's just fuel. So it's very important to get that one right. Um, Bada bing, what else can I tell you? Math sensor. So we clean, we, we told you what to clean it with. We showed you, we told you we can get the O-ring for you. We're, we're just literally sourcing those in bulk today. So they should cost us next to nothing. We'll have them here. And it's only if you're buying an injector kit or a big front engine kit or something else. If you need these small things, we don't sell EGR gaskets separately or O-rings separately. All these small things, very busy, one man band, doing as much as I can for you guys to help out. And I do genuinely um, care and want to help you. That's why I'm giving you this information. I can't do them all, okay? I've tried to find people. We've got a lot of helpers out there. Reach out, let us know in a text message where you are and I can tell you yeah, we've got someone we can recommend there. We may not have someone we can recommend, but we may have someone that will say, look, if you definitely can't do it yourself, we've got someone you can try and we'll say, so there's recommended repairers, you know, there's four before diesel workshop partners. They're like the best of the best. There's recommended repairers and there's, you can give them a try repairers and then there's really, you know, oh, I wouldn't go there, you know, and then there's no, don't go there. You know what I mean? So. And the don't go to theirs, we try not to talk about them. We try and stay positive. So that's the deal, guys. Math sensor, mass air flow, king of sensors. As far as I know, they're about two or 300 bucks if you damage it. So don't use the wrong stuff to clean it. Don't stick that little extension off the end there in the hole and hit the wires and damage the wires. Do not touch anything on those little wires, okay? Be very careful. It's a, one of those delicate little parts. Anyway. What else can I tell you? See, I just added that. See, lucky you hung around. Please give me the thumbs up for if I got you to hang around this long to give you that little caution because at the end of the day, if you if you got it in there and you sprayed it and damaged those, then you'd be going, oh, you know, oh, what, oh, why didn't you tell me? Whatever. So, um, pretty straightforward video. What else can we do while we're at it? Math sensor, precautions, whatever. Um, that's it, guys. It's going to possibly save you some fuel. And increase horsepower things like that like it says on the can mass airflow cleaner from crc is what we use you should do that clean look all right here you go a little bit more information so if you go by toyota procedure toyota service whatever every thirty thousand k's when they you know open up this and the clips at the back and change your air filter every thirty thousand by the book they should be taking that out and they blow bursts of compressed air over it right and I'll give you what I mean. It's like 10 bursts of compressed air. It goes like this. Here's your compressed air, right? Here it is, and it goes. In bursts like that to get the dust off, right? So that's, that's a way to do it, but we prefer to use proper cleaning products that are designed to do so. So I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that way. It may do the job. I'll go to the next level to fill in another minute to get towards 10 minutes. Please give me 10 minutes. When I do a video, please give me 10. If you see a longer one, make a time that's more convenient because there's really important information there. We had someone, um, yeah, the aircon pipe rubbed through. He missed that bit of information. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just watch the videos. I don't know where it is. I talk a lot and there's lots of information like this comes in every now and then and you just need to watch the videos. So if you're doing trips and you're driving in dust, you don't change this every 30,000. You need to check it regularly. You may need to check it more often. You can check it by not even opening the box. There's a little indicator hole on the side of the box there. See that hole there? It's normally pink, unless it's an aftermarket filter. You can also open it up to check it. I don't like opening up too much, especially if it's all dusty and dirty. I like to, I sort of gauge state of the dust and I know that it's gonna last or how long it's gonna last. But 
change that as you need to. Whenever you change this, you need to clean that. If you've got any symptoms at all, you need to clean that, okay? King of senses, guys. Thanks for watching. That's a butter bing, butter boom. And now's the time, if you can, to please go and give us a thumbs up. Press that subscribe button if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, the bell on so you don't miss the import next important bit of information. And um, in the comments, if you can, who has cleaned their map sensor or who has done it after this video, please come back to the video and tell me if you've got a broken O-ring. We had someone recently, what's what's um, made all this happen? Yeah, there's all sealants, red silicon sealant stuff all over it. What a mess. Anyway, guys, we'll get that sorted out. Bada bing, bada boom. All right?